Look at that. Look at that. You got to see it. Angela James, she's a Canadian hockey legend, not just in Canada, in, in the world. And she's broken so many barriers all throughout her career. She's considered the first superstar of modern women's hockey, one of the first three women inducted into the International Ice Hockey Federation Hockey Hall of Fame there, of course, in 2008. Uh, the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2010. She was one of the first two in that. Just the, the, the accolades go on and on. Order of Hockey in 2021 as well. And she's joining us right now to talk about a children's book created around her life story and to celebrate all of her achievements. Good morning, Angela, Angela James. James. <laughs> I feel Good like we morning. need a scroll, Angela. Hear ye, hear ye. My gosh, it's so <laughs> impressive. First of all, happy International <laughs> Women's Day to you. You're so inspiring for a million reasons. Talk to us about how the love of the sport began for you. Well, uh, I guess I, good morning, everybody, and uh, happy International Women's Day. And uh, thanks, thank you very much for having me this morning. It's uh, bright and nerdy. I just realized that my kitty cat is. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, what's your cat your cat's <laughs> just chilling. Cat's trying to steal the show. Uh, that, that, sorry about that, but I can't do anything about it right now. <laughs> my daughter will not get out of bed. Um, yeah, you know, uh, as a, a young child growing up in Fleming and Park in Toronto, uh, you know, like every other Canadian, and, uh, you know, now today, like uh, a lot of young girls, uh, we uh, got up and uh, we played hockey out on the streets and, and uh, you know, it's just been the love of my life. And, you know, like a lot of uh, hockey players, uh, you know, will say to you as uh, they were growing up, they just lived and eat and drank hockey. So uh, that, that's really my story uh, about our great game. And we look at those highlights and things, you know, four gold medals internationally playing for this great country. You know, I could have kept going on with all the accolades for you, but you had a lot of obstacles to get to that point. What are some of those, and we kind of see them in, in this story as well, what are some of those that, you know, you want to mention right now? Well, you know what? Um, I was very fortunate um, back then to consider myself lucky just to be playing the game. And, you know, I didn't consider a lot of things that were going on obstacles because, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't really know things any differently. Right. So, um, you know, I uh, I just, uh, you know, was great, grateful that I was able to, you know, go down to the outdoor arena and play hockey every day. And, you know, we would borrow equipment and, um, you know, ask other people to lend equipment in order to play. And, you know, I, I didn't think that back then that, you know, I wasn't privileged, but, um, you know, we found a way to be kids and, and play uh, hockey. And, you know, Maria Quintos, uh, who was uh, a manager of uh, our Toronto Arrows team growing up, uh, you know, came to me and asked if uh, she could uh, write a uh, children's storybook um, with, you um, you know, a number of our other players, Geraldine Heaney and uh, Cassie Campbell. So she decided to write a little small children's book. And, uh, you know, I was uh, more than happy to uh, do it. Oh, the story is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The illustrations are beautiful. And I got to say, what really touched my heart, too, you or the story talks about the man with the red hat. Can you tell us about that man? <laughs> it's, it's how you learn to skate. Yes, um, so I have a, a biography as well out, and uh, I uh, sent that out to Maria Quintos and, and uh, as she was beginning to write her story. And, um, you know, at the same time, you know, Maria lost her, her uh, husband, and, you know, at the same time, I lost my mother. So I have a funny feeling that, uh, you know, she was touched by a certain portion in my book, and, and that was... Um, when I was younger, going down to Fleming and Park Arena and skating, that um, there was a, a, a deaf man that used to be down there, and I used to follow him, and uh, that's how I really learned how to skate and how to push. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, also to the man with the red hat, kind of, you know, um, copies a little bit, I think, about. Uh, Curious George and the man in the yellow hat, <laughs> you know, not to say that there's any infringement. Uh, <laughs> yeah, none of that. We're not going to get yeah, no, <laughs> anybody in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's just a great story about um, the man in the uh, red hat and how I used to follow him skating. 
and uh, you know how it led to, uh, from my beginnings, and then at the end of the book, how um, you know at the um, induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame, and uh, yeah, you know uh, the illustrations are beautiful. They're, it's uh, for young uh, young kids anywhere from you know three right up to ten years old that. Uh, you know, can just uh, relate a little bit, and uh, the language in the book is uh, is meant for young children. And mm -hmm. and you know, with me an International Women's Day, you know, why not celebrate Maria Quintos, who's a a, a great writer, going to be uh, doing a small uh, children's uh, series book. So Love I'm it. really delighted to be here. Love it. We're so glad you and your cat. Mm -hmm. What's your cat's name? <laughs> uh, that one is Lily, uh, Lily. yes. <laughs> okay, so happy International yeah. Cat State to Lily yeah, as well. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Angela, thank you so much for more information. Make sure you check it out. There once was a girl.ca. You are continued inspiration and love that the younger ones get to read in on all your journey stories and achievements too. Love to you and Angela, Lily. Angela, I got to say, as a hockey Thanks, uncle it. to two girls, I want to say thank you yes. for inspiring yeah. them because they've, I've showed them your story and, and they are very inspired. So thank you on behalf yes. of everybody for that. Excellent. And you know what, girls? Keep playing hockey. Thank you Great. very much for having me. I love it. Thanks, Angela. Coming up. Thank you. Celebrating you at home. Will your picture appear on the screen? Maybe it's her <laughs> birthday anniversary. Celebrations right after this.